in the first few minutes of the last game we observed that we try that we try to use a pace of bias by playing a long ball to him is that a plan hatched before the game if so are you happy that some same work in the game yeah not only that there are many uh, other aspects but that was one of the details that we wanted to use because we know that not only Jorge but also Alvaro and other players they have those good movements that we will be practicing on and of course uh, by using them and especially when the opponent defense staying high these kind of things we can use and they can use very well so we knew if and observed before the game we want to use that uh, weak point of our last opponent and uh, of course it paid off i'm very happy to see that uh, we could have scored a goal like that. anyone right. who has watched the blasters past matches will you uh, will know the role of jixen singh and putia alliance in the team's progress how did you get the idea to give this midfield alliance uh, another defensive job well first of all the both of them and especially a couple of other guys but both of them they have a huge potential they have a running possibilities and all the other aspects that uh, give quality to uh, to this team and of course so by working hard and uh, working with consistency these uh, players they get more self confidence that's how you improve in football and that's how you become better so i'm glad to see not only them but i'm glad to see how they evolve how they uh, become better and how they enjoy playing uh, together and playing with the team so we observed and uh, analyzed before this competition before this season that they have potential and uh, as a coaching staff we wanted to use it so that's why uh, we are continuing uh, to doing in the same way and that's why for the moment we are happy with our uh, midfield players of course Coach, uh, the Blasters have fans who never club the team in the time of setbacks. Uh, how the coach sees the support of the fans? It's a, it's a huge support and uh, we know that many of them they are supporting and uh, willing to see our team playing like this uh, and winning games. And uh, believe me, uh, till here, till go, we, we feel that support we feel the, the warmth we we feel uh, everything they are sending to us so i'm like i said i'm sorry that uh, we cannot play these games and if we cannot uh, have those victories in our stadium in front of that uh, magnificent crowd so uh, hope the teacher will come uh, soon that this uh, pandemic will end and we can have the possibility and uh, it's huge huge respect to towards them and uh, hope that we all continue like that big thanks to them uh, so coach kbfc faced jamshedpur fc twice in the preseason friendly one we lost and uh, one was a draw so will there be any changes in the plan to face them from the last two matches well, yes of course because it was the period of a preseason and they were, they were completely different games now almost in the middle of uh, isl both teams are playing uh, a bit differently both teams are uh, playing with the uh, different approach and uh, different mentality so tomorrow i suppose it should be very hard physical game tough with uh, lots of runnings and uh, so we'll see tomorrow let's uh, let the best the better team wins coach uh, is there any injury update uh, no everything's all right so far everything everybody's available for the game very good Actually, we are sitting comfortable in the top half of the uh, top half of the table right now after winning the previous game. Uh, as you know, an opportunity is there that if we win the next game tomorrow with a certain goal margin, we can actually go top of the top of the table. Is that something uh, that you are looking forward to? Because um, being at uh, being at the top of the table, not just now, and if you continue to be at the top of the table at the end of the league stage, it comes with certain add-ons, and that is. we can say the league shield and most priceable target being the champions league slot is that now in your views as a club that we are aiming for it from uh, right away right away because we are in a comfortable position right now is that in your aim right now or is it just like just let let us just go one one game by game and let us see where we end up but you know every team when you start the competition when you start the season you of course you aim uh, as high as possible but you know there are many circumstances obstacles and the opponents that you will face so now in our situation like i was saying before the season 
we are the team who ended up last year second for both. So our goal this season, if we compare to last season, we have to shut up and work hard. That's all, you know, and then everything what comes extra to us, it's, uh, it's really welcome. So now in this situation, we just want to continue building up because uh, in the football, it's about momentum. When you are sitting in a good momentum, you have to continue building up. You have to continue working hard and playing game by game. And then you will see what will be the outcome. So, so far, we have a good atmosphere. We have a good team. We have a, a cohesion in our team that uh, gives us confidence. And of course, we do not look, I said uh, not long time ago, every game for us is difficult. Every game for us is different. So all the opponents we saw in uh, previous games, so far, anybody can beat anybody. So in this league, we have to stay focused and concentrated and go game per game. And then we will see in one moment where it will take us. If it's high up the table, of course, then we are happy, they will be welcome. If not, we will work hard. But we do not have to forget from where we are coming, previous years and everything. As a club, we have to stay uh, humble. As a team, we have to stay, of course, together with the force to continue and trying to collect the points. Later on, we will sum up when we are closer to the end and we will see what are uh, our objectives. So we have to stay humble, continue working hard. That's it. Thank you, Coach. Thank you, Alvaro. Uh, coach, actually, one thing. It's a special request from a fan uh, from a fan from Twitter. He actually okay. asked me that if you can keep wearing the dress that which you are wearing against Mumbai and Chennai, because that's people are liking the look you are in the uh, look you are wearing in the games right now. It's just a special request from a fan that I wanted to convey to you. Listen, uh, tell you uh, for this special request to a fan. Uh, every time, of course, I gave my shirt to a. Uh, dry cleaning here. I still didn't get it back. So today I have to run to see if it's all right with it for tomorrow. <laughs> and, also the last time, and also the last time, like you said, that we have to score on a, on a set piece. That's why we sent in Vinci and told him, like, go and score in the corner. But, you know, in the last minute, it didn't, it didn't happen. So we'll try next time. My fingers were crossed actually. It will, it will, it will come, it will come. When it will come, it will be the best. Okay, uh, thank you, coach. Thank you, Alvaro. Merry Christmas. Hope you get the three points home next day. Merry Christmas. Uh, coach, uh, so the second uh, set of schedules have released now, and we have a pretty tight schedule. So, how are we going to cope up with the tight scheduling? Well, we knew, we knew beforehand that we will have this kind of calendar and that we have this. Uh, uh, those fixtures close to each other. As a team, uh, and then from a fitness level with our uh, coaching and the medical staff, we are working hard to have uh, the players fresh for the game, especially in the short term when you play uh, um, every three days. So, you know, this is the coaching your job and uh, together with medical staff and all the other compartments to prepare everything, to have everybody ready. So we are used to do it. You know, in this job, you have to deal with those things you know, on the highest level as well, when you play competition, cup, Champions League, national team, all these uh, duties. So, we are ready to face it and we'll see. Now uh, we have tomorrow's game and then we have one week to, uh, to prepare the next one. So, we'll deal with that. So, whatever it is, we don't want to use it uh, as excuse. Also, the professional players, they know the job and uh, that's how it goes. So, we are not worried about it. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe to our channel.